Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLF. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its low points this morning, and then you look at where the price ultimately closed down the day, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price definitely did make a nice bounce. But that does lead to the valid question going into next week of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, you know, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at $10.70. Seventy cents. Why is ten seventy important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is going to progress forward. The price is not going to go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not going to go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly. So with that in mind, think about ten sixty, or excuse me, ten seventy. Any sort of closes below there or worse set, if the price separates to the downside. What would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that range of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulled back here, behaved in this manner, and then started to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have these lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying the quote unquote progress point as $10.70. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? As it stands right now, the key level to watch is gonna be that purple line there, the 50 period simple moving average. Just as a quick kind of reference point, going back through history, you can see many times the price has tried to get up through that level and just has been rejected and rejected and rejected by it. Am I saying it's impossible to break through there? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying given what the past data is telling us, apparently, uh, you know, according to the story, the bulls really are gonna need to bring their A game to not only get above that purple line, but also stay up above it. So all in all though, anyway, look at it. Nice bounce today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum next week? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.